Yo guys, what's poppin'? It's time for shopping. Back at it with another Black Ops Cold War franchise store video. This one's gonna be for April 6th. Guys, just really quick before we hop into the shop today, do me a couple favors. Number one, make sure you leave it a like on this video here today and make sure you subscribe to the channel. If you guys like Escape from Tarkov content at all, I have a second channel called ACZFT where I'm uploading between two and three times a day over there. Todd, right now a lot of creators are just taking a break from it or just completely stop uploading it. Luckily, we have the shops here. We have a really awesome shop community that we can continue to do these. But gameplay-wise, Call of Duty is pretty much down the drain. And a lot of creators are saying the same exact thing. So I highly encourage you, if you want more content from me as a creator, or if you like other shooter-style games, check out my side channel, ACZFT, for some Tarkov content. We're having a great time over there. Let's hop in the video here today, guys. We only have one brand new bundle, unfortunately. And that is going to be Elite Forces. And there is no blueprint in here either. So... No new guns and no new skins today. We just have what is in this bundle. Mint condition was rotated through if you guys were waiting on that one. But I'm pretty sure you can buy all the stuff that's already released in the armory anyways. But mint condition did rotate through along with Winter Assassin. But we've already seen both of these before. Hopping into Elite Forces, we have a watch, a knife, an emblem, sticker, charm, and calling card. Let's just hop right in. We have field grade. This is going to be a rank tracker. Now, I'm pretty sure one of these came in the first battle pass. I actually can't remember if we've had any of them in the battle pass, and I'm pretty sure I have one already. I don't know where I got it from. So you can see your rank there. You guys can see I'm only level 47. I tried and tried and tried to get level 200 and just barely made it last season. I'm not trying this season, man. It's just not worth the pain and uh, mental stress that comes with Call of Duty and skill-based matchmaking. But there's your rank, tra rank tracker if you guys are playing a lot and you want to keep up to date with what your rank is. This is a great way to do it without checking the leaderboard. We have Banana Blade. Check this thing out. All right, this is actually pretty cool. I don't love it, but it's definitely unique. It's something different. And, you know, for that reason, I think it's cool. Oh, check that out. It kind of wiggles. Got a little wiggle action going on with the peel. All right, that makes it 10 times better. And I just literally realized that it's pe the handle is peeling off the blade, which is, you know, the banana. That's actually kind of cool. I didn't even realize that at first. This one's actually really, really unique. I love the unique knives that do come out. We had a couple of them already in Cold War, such as the steak. And in Modern Warfare, we had a really, really cool one that I liked, which was the box cutter. You know, it replaces your knife entirely as a box cutter. Just really unique stuff like that I think is really, really cool. And this one's definitely up there. So if you guys are into this at all, I would definitely recommend picking it up just for the unique aspect of it. I like it. I'm giving it the pass already. Um, you know, only eight bucks. If you guys run around, use knives, like to be a little ninja in uh, search of destroy and everything. Like getting a ninja to fuse is super, super satisfying. Like one of the most satisfying feelings in COD, especially if there's like five people on the map still. Like getting that ninja to fuse, super, super satisfying. So, you know, maybe if you guys ninja a lot or you do something like that, just run around with knives. It's going to be a cool one for you. But 800 COD points, man, that is going to do it for today. Not much else in the shop. Some of the other cosmetic stuffs on there was just really average stuff, nothing crazy. The charm was decent, but um, you know, not over the top. You guys know I really love the charms in this game, and that one was pretty average. That's what I have to say about that. If you guys enjoy the video, make sure to leave that like, subscribe, if you're new sponsor, and equipment in the description below. That's all I got. Thank you for watching. I'm out.